Hi, I'm Sam Gaskin. And I'm Adam Brockway. Here for episode 7 of OBC. You can tell this is an episode of OBC because of the way it is. Today we'll be focusing on area, athletics, academics, and clubs. That's pretty neat. Now, for an episode of OBC, I always like to, to p p pack some heat. P pack, pack a slate. OBC! Today in academics, we'll be talking about, you guessed it, academics! That's pretty neat. How do you think you did on the ACT? Good. Awesome, I think it was my best one yet. Good. <laughs> Probably a 12 because of my ethnicity. Good. I probably got a 36, I'm just so smart. Good. How do you guys think you did on the ACT? Pretty well. Um, I took in February, and I feel like I did better on this one than I did in February. This is my first time taking it, and I feel like I at least got 10 points because I put my name on everything. But other than that, we'll see how it goes. Good. I'm Cindy Dawson here with Olivia Harwood, an IB Art student in the OEC with the IB Art um, Show. Olivia, what is the IB Art Show? Um, well, it's an opportunity for all the IB Art students to showcase their work and show like everybody what they've been doing for the past semester. And when is it? Um, it's March 9th. It started March 9th to the 23rd, and the reception is Friday night from 5:30 to 6:30. And yeah, you should come check it out. <laughs> and what can we expect from the IB Art Show? Um, lots of information from what the students have been doing, all their artwork, and they're going to be here showing off their artwork, um, kind of showing what their background information are on all the pieces and how they made them, and yeah. Thank you. Today in athletics, sports! Athletics, we'll be talking about athletics and sports. Hi, I'm Zach Clayton. I'm here with Coach K. Coach K. What are your expectations for uh, this baseball season? Well, each year we go in looking to uh, finish as high as we can in the conference. We look to win the conference. It's one of our goals. And uh, as we move along, we'd like to get as far as we can in the playoffs. And our goal is to get to the state tournament. We've uh, uh, got a lot of work to do to get there, but it uh, can be done. So. I'm here with our Player of the Week, Max Roth. So what sports are you in, Max? I'm in track and field and football. Uh, what do you do in track and field? Uh, I throw shot put and discus. What is your farthest throw? Um, for a shot put, it's about 40 feet, and for discus, about 105. Uh, how do you think that this season is going to go? Uh, I think it's going to go well. We've got we've got a young team, but it's going to be good. How do you think you're personally going to do this season? Um, I just I'm hoping to beat my PR. Um, <laughs> I hope to throw farther than last year. And how long are you going to grow out your hair? Um, until I decide to cut it. Right, sounds good. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jill Nelson, and welcome to Elevator Interviews, an interview that lasts the length of an elevator ride. <laughs> I'm here with Captain Ryan Marincic of our girls lacrosse team. Now, could you tell us how the season is going so far? Uh, so far, so good. We haven't had any games yet, but we do have a tournament this Saturday in the Dells. Um, so that should be super fun. We play against four different schools in the Classic 8 Conference. That sounds pretty radical. So, uh, uh, who's all involved in the uh, lacrosse team? Um, Allie Harwood is my other uh, co-captain, and we have lots of girls, all freshmen and um, sophomores and juniors, seniors. It's a really wide variety of people, and it's just a really diverse group of people, and I really like our team this cool. year. And you mentioned that there's a boys' uh, lacrosse yeah, team? Yeah, there's a boys' lacrosse team. Yeah. So if you don't make any spring sports this season, join lacrosse, because it's super fun, and you get to hit people. All right, well, thank you for your time, Coach, Captain. No problem.
today in area, we'll be talking about the area. Yeah, all, all about that area. You can tell it's the area because the way it is. Area of a triangle, that's one half base times height. Area of a rectangle is base times height. Ha! What, the area of a circle is uh, pi times, pi radius, times squared. radius squared. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Yeah. <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? No. Okay. Joe, will you go to prom with me? 100% yes. Oh, hug. All right. Yes. All right, there we go. Will you go to prom with me? Is this real? Will you go to prom with me? Is this real? Will you go to prom? You have a prom date. Will you go to prom with me? You have a prom date. Okay. Hi, I'm Savannah Waller interviewing Mr. O'Connor, the new track coach and AP psychology teacher. What made you want to become a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher because I had a lot of good role models in high school that were also my teachers and my coaches. So towards the end of high school when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, teaching was one of the things that I like to have a big impact on people's lives. What did you go to school for? I went to school for secondary education, broad field social sciences, which is just a fancy way to be, say, a high school or middle school history social science teacher. What do you coach? This is my first year coaching the boys and girls throwers with the track team, and I also did freshman football earlier this year. Did you do track in high school? Yes, I threw in track all four years of high school. My senior year, I made it to state in discus. Today in clubs. Uh, we'll probably talk about some clubs. Here's the announcements for National Business Honor Society. National Business Honor Society is the new club starting next year at OHS. You need to apply by May 6th, need to have taken three business or marketing classes, need to have a cumulative GPA of 3.5, not weighted, and you need to have a cumulative GPA in business or marketing classes of 3.5. Stop in Ms. Tilma's room for more information. FBLA is having a blood drive on Friday, April 22nd. You need to be 16 years or older to donate blood, and if you are 16, you need a permission slip signed by your parents. Yep, and uh, it's all going to be signed up at the health room in the main hallway when we get back from spring break. So how about that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of OBC. Follow us online at OconBC. Check you later, Home Slice. Stay neat.